In this video, I'm gonna be talking about cash. No, not that kind of cash. I'm gonna be talking about browser cash. It's, it's not quite as exciting or interesting as, as the kind of moolah sort of cash. I'm gonna be explaining exactly what cash is, how you clear your cash, and indeed why you'd need to clear your cash. So, let's go. It's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. If you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, please do click on the red button down there. Remember to click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload new videos, which I try and do every single week. If you haven't checked out WPEagle.com, please go and take a look. It's full of all the videos that I've got on my YouTube channel and some other bonus bits and bobs that I think you're gonna really enjoy. So anyway, what is browser cache? Well, it's a way of making websites load faster for you when you're browsing the internet. What happens is when you visit a website for the first time, your browser, that could be Chrome or Safari or Firefox, it basically downloads a copy of that website and it stores it on your computer's hard drive. This means that when you're browsing around that website, it loads really fast because a lot of the resources like images and scripts and other techie stuff is on your computer rather than having to be pulled down across the internet each time. It's generally a really good thing to have because as I say, it makes you know, browsing the web a lot faster. However, cache can sometimes be a problem if you're a web developer type person, like we are, you know, setting up websites, WordPress websites in particular. What can happen is that you can make some changes, maybe to the CSS or other elements on the page. And then when you go to view that page, it doesn't look quite right, or you can't see the changes that you've just done, or it's broken. Generally, what's going on here is that when you're looking at that web page, it's pulling it from your browser cache rather than downloading it from the internet and therefore your changes aren't being reflected or it's kind of getting a half of it from there and half of it from your computer and it's kind of yeah breaking stuff. So when this happens, you need to clear your cache, which is basically just cleaning out all the websites that your browser has downloaded, starting afresh. Then when you go and visit a page, it will download the whole thing again and you'll be able to see exactly how it should look. So let me get on the computer and I will show you how you can go about clearing your cache. I'm gonna show you how to do it with three different browsers. I've got Google Chrome, I've got Mozilla Firefox, and I've got Apple Safari. Unfortunately, I don't have Internet Explorer to hand, but it's gonna be pretty much the same for that anyway. And does anyone even use that anymore? Uh, probably not. So hopefully you're running one of those browsers, you know, Chrome, Safari, or Firefox. And yeah, I'll show you how to do it. Let's get on the computer, let's get on with it. Okay, so let's start with Google Chrome. I'm doing this on a Mac, but I think it's gonna be pretty similar on a PC as well. What you wanna do is come up here on the Mac and find clear browsing data. I think on a PC it might be over here with these three dots. Um, and then it's under more tools just here. And you've got clear browsing data. So if we go in here, there's a whole load of tick boxes, and you can see it's really ticked the one I want, which is cached images and files. That's the one you want to do when you're clearing your cache. What you don't want to do generally is clear your cookies, because that's going to log you out of everything. It's going to, most sites are then going to forget your settings, all sorts. It's just going to be a pain. And, and that's it. I mean, you can clear your browsing history as well if you've got something that you maybe need to hide. <laughs> But generally, when it comes to testing out websites or you know seeing stuff that's not working correctly, that can generally be fixed by just clearing this bit here, the cache, images, and files. So once you've uh, ticked that, you just click the blue button. All done. So next, let's have a look at Firefox. Okay, so here we are. We're over in Firefox. Let's go up to here, preferences. Could be over here as well on a PC. Preferences is there. Let's go and take a look. Once you're in the preferences, you want to go into uh, privacy and security. If we scroll down, we've got cookies and site data. If we go to clear data, um, we've got a couple of tick boxes here. You want to untick the cookies, as I say, because that just signs you out of everything and uh, yeah, just a pain generally. And you just wanna leave cache web content ticked. I don't have a lot of cache because I don't really use Firefox much. And you press clear and you're all done. So here we are in Safari. Let's go up to Safari menu, then into preferences. It's then privacy. Then you've got this cookies and website data, then manage website data. 
and you want to select remove all now the problem with safari is it doesn't give you the choice whether you want to remove just the cache or just the cookie so this is going to remove cookies as well which is a bit of a pain because now i'm going to be logged out of everything or whatever but it doesn't matter actually because i don't really use safari there we go that's it free browsers free ways to clear your cache good luck so that brings to the end of this video. I hope you found that useful. You now understand what cash is and how to clear it and indeed why you need to clear it. If you're not already subscribed, please click on the little eagle up there. If you haven't checked out my vlog channel, click on my face up there. It's full of kind of vlogs about business and life and, and other stuff that I kind of ramble on about. I think you're gonna like it, go check it out. And down here somewhere is another video chosen specially for you. Hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.